Hi everyone, my name is Siyalash. I recently started doing a postdoc in the School of Food Science, University of Leeds, and I'm working in a project called LoopSat. It's funded through uh, ERC, and it's a basically a project looking into the tribology relevant to the oral surfaces. So following what we have discussed in earlier uh, today's lecture, I'm going to have a demonstration on the machine we are using to produce some friction results for tribology tests. So this machine you can see in the background is called Mini Traction Machine, MTM, and it's supplied by PCS Instrument, which is a company located in London with its headquarter in UK, and is a ball-on ball on a disc configuration. So we have got different configurations of turbometers. For example, you would expect to have a pin on this, cylinder on this, or pin on a plate. And it can be reciprocating, rotating. As we discussed also, you can apply different sliding to low ratio. So this machine is a ball-on disc configuration and you can apply sliding rolling ratios of up to 200, uh, um, 200%. And you can also apply temperatures of a desired uh, temperature you like, up to 150. But typically for all our oral tribology, we are applying a temperature of around 37 degrees. So as part of this demonstration, I will try to show you what kind of a typical samples you can get. And uh, so these, all of the samples are from PCS instrument. So it's coming from the manufacturer of the machine itself, but obviously you can mold or cast your desired uh, sample as well if you're using different materials. So just a typical standard sample you would get, you have got a steel ball and a steel disc and the ball would rotate basically on this section of the steel and you would have a wear track around the surface. As you can see, these are called, these are called a mirror finish, so these are smooth samples. Mostly for um, oral tribology, because obviously tongue and palate are soft materials, you are trying to do your tribal tests in soft uh, materials as well. So we are using PDMS, polydiamethyl siloxone uh, balls, and also PDMS discs, as you can see. You can also get different size of the sample, so you can get smaller balls and a smaller disc. And obviously for these you would need some adapters and different type of screws to mount it on the machine. In this case, uh, I would use the standard PDMS and a standard PDMS uh, disc and ball. So one other thing I want to mention as well, if you have got a lubricant which you can produce much of a much of a quantities and you have got a small amount of the lubricant, you have got some uh, basically devices like this, which is called retaining ring that. Uh, enables you basically to reduce the lubricant consumption. The other thing I want to mention is that if you are using, as I mentioned, these PDMS ball and discs, you need some other tools for it, which is called retaining steel disc. So basically your PDMS disc would sit and secure in this uh, retaining uh, disc and then it would secure with some uh, further uh, knots. Creating a profile. You have got a shortcut icon here called MTM Profile Editor. You select that, this window will show up, you select New. In this case, we are creating a profile for a standard sample, which are three quarter of an inch. If you are using a smaller sample, a smaller ball on this, you have the chance to select half an inch. Select standard, you can give it a desired name, say full fat, right? And disk motion, you should select normal because you are not doing reciprocating here in this case. For loading system, you need to change it to low loads because MTM machine is capable of 
applying loads of order of uh, 75 newtons but in oral tribology uh, applications we are applying low loads of one two three newtons so that's why we select low loads in this white box you have the chance to create your new profile you right click there and you can add a step so you have got traction stripe and time steps time steps means that you have got a defined entrainment speed and a specific starting loading ratio and you run your tribology test at those defined conditions for defined time like i say for example for half an hour time stripe curve means that you have got a defined set sliding rolling ratio and you're changing your entrainment speed either from high values to low values or going from low values of the entrainment speed to higher ones for traction in a specific conditions you need to use traction speed that's where you have the chance to have a set a, uh, set on a specific in trim and the speed and you're changing your sliding rolling ratio during the test in this case we are creating a strawberry curve to start. so again you can give it a name you can set the sliding rolling ratio load which is we are going to set two and here in this box you can apply the desired rolling speed so right click there add a range Again, you have got two options here. You can have a fixed step size. Say, for example, you're increasing or decreasing in trim and the speed by a set values of five or 10 millimeter per second, or you can have a fixed number of steps. So you say that that's my starting value, that's my uh, terminating value, and give me 50 or hundreds of reading. That's where you, you set the no uh, number of steps. In this case, we are using fixed step size and we are starting from high speed of 300 millimeter per second to 10 and we are decreasing the speed by 10 millimeter per second so if you okay here you can expand this and you would notice that because we set a decreasing value of 10 you would have 300 290 280 up to the 10 and obviously because we want to have a, a value friction values for entrainment speed between 10 and 1 you add another sp step at range and you select 10 to 1 and this time you're decreasing the speed to 1 click OK and if you expand this window you would notice that your speed is basically going from 10 to 9, 8 and up to 1 you always when you are using your uh, a, a temperature control system you need to control your temperature up to the end of the test so you enable this window and you set your temperature to the desired which is in this case is 37 degrees at the start of the test because obviously machines need a time to set the temperature and you need to mix your lubricant to get a homogeneous temperature that's where you basically enable the wait for temperature step so in this case the ball and disc would rotate at a speed of one meter per second with no loads and no sliding rolling ratios press ok you would have these uh, profile created and then you can save it and give it a name. Okay, so how do you mount your samples into the machine? So you have got, you need is a screw, which is a retaining screw for the bowl, and it goes through the bowl, and it goes into the shaft, and you tighten your bowl into the shaft using two screw dryers. And this shaft is basically applying the load and also measuring the friction. So when, you're, uh, when you have got tangential forces, the torque transducer sitting inside this box would measure the friction 
in the left or right hand side. So to secure your center, you need to keep a small steel screwdriver stand still and then rotate the screw. You would hear a click. As long as you hear this click, your sample is tight enough and you can carry on mounting your disc. So as I mentioned, your basic disc sits on a retaining steel disc and it goes into the machine. The machine has got two pins with the holes in the retaining disc sitting inside those pins. And then you use the screwdriver with the securing knot to tighten your sample. Always remember to close the drainage valve. So if it's sitting perpendicular to the line, means that you're closing the valve. For loading the, your lubricant, so if you have got a liquid lubricant, you usually need 35 milliliter of lubricant to fill the pot. But in this case, we are going to compare the friction result for two yogurts, one with full fat, one with 0% of the fat. So you can uh, find out the difference between the friction values. So in this case, you roughly put as much of a pasty lubricant to cover the surface and cover the gaps inside the pots. Always remember that don't fill it, fill it up very much because then you would have some other artifacts. But it should be enough that you would have full lubricant between the wedge of your bowl and uh, the disc. Once you are happy with the amount of lubricant you put there, you open up the software. So you would have different icons here. So the main software is called MTM PC. You open it up. First thing you need to do is to connect the software into the machine. So if you press the connect, one blue light and the machine would pop up mentioning that your machine is ready to do the test for you first thing you need to do to initialize the bowl so basically bowl if it's in the if it's loaded against the disk or if it's in another condition it initializes and it goes to the uh, initial condition then you would have the lid and you lower the bowl. So bowl would move into the contact with the disc. You would mount the lid and you sec secure it with this lever. Basically is an electrical circuit here. So as soon as this one connecting the lid, you're allowed to run a test. That's where your new test becomes green. So it means that you're allowed to run a test. So just imagine if you have got an existing profile, a program with which you can run a test. So you go to new test, browse profile, find your profile which the format is MTMP so P stands for program you select that and you basically browse a data setup so you give a new name I would call it trial full fat and you save it 
obviously you have got some boxes that you can put the specific details which you like lubricant yogurt and for comments you can also add further details so this would show up in your program uh, in your data file when you open it up so these are the details you can put and then you start the test so in this case a box would show up on the screen asking you to check that whether the lid is secured your samples are secured and when you are sure that all the samples are in place you can and you're happy to run the test you press ok what machine does first is to heat up the lubricant to the desired temperature so without applying a load only with the disc and ball rotating it would heat up the lubricant into the desired temperature and as soon as it gets to the 37 which is now is our desired lubricant temperature in this case it would start the actual test okay so here that's where I want to show you how kind of a friction results we are getting. So that's the same full fat yogurt we use. And as I mentioned in our program, we are starting from high entrainment speeds of 300 millimeter per second, and we are decreasing the entrainment speed to one somewhere here. For dismounting your sample and cleaning the pot, basically you're releasing this knob, removing the cap. From the software, you would select raise bowl. And the bowl would move up. You can drain as much of a lubricant you like to this uh, valve but basically because it's yogurt and it's too viscous you can't remove it from drainage so you need some tissues and you can remove the lubricant 